problem with not having enough women in engineering, and, and that's, I mean, that's, that is what it is right now, and it's common. Um, I've never run into any obstacle or anybody telling me that I couldn't do something because I, nobody's ever told me that. This just doesn't exist in my view. Um, I'm sure other people have, and I'm not diminishing that, but in my experience, people are very supportive and they want you to do it. The problem is getting the interest level. So it has to start younger and getting, they have to realize how cool it is to do something like that. I think just younger girls and women just don't think it's that cool, so they don't even think to go into that field. There's nothing stopping them from going in that field, but it's just an interest. And so you have to pique that interest early to get those young girls interested and, and really have, have that driven passion. Um, I think the only things I can do is just paint a broad picture of what's out there. I mean, there are so many set standard curriculum that there's just so much more outside that standard that you might not be aware of. I was not aware of aerospace engineering until probably after college. Um, I mean, I knew it was there, but I didn't, I didn't really know anything about it. Um, so that started late for me, and I think if that were introduced, I think it is being introduced a lot earlier now. I think with the STEM objectives and getting all that into the schools, I think that is being introduced to kids, so they are seeing the breadth of what is available to them. Um, so I think that's, a, that's all, I'm sure there's more you can do, but that's a good start. That's a good start, is making it available and um, walking outside your standard curriculum every once in a while. And, uh, maybe where your kids will be in the next 30 years, I think it's very exciting stuff. And, and I, I hope to you know, maybe instill some of that passion into young kids today that might want to go the path that I did or a similar path that I did. Um, I, I think it's, I'm very happy with doing what I'm doing. I have the coolest job in the world. And I hope to find other people who want to do the same type of thing.